so let's move to um, our uh, our big sort of like uh, our main tool, right? It's a uh, content content creator. So over here, I already started a project called Winter Close. So what I was doing is essentially I was going through uh, a process using Keyword Explorer and go into uh, topic discovery and now to content creator, right? And over here, using our Keyword Explorer, I know that I want to write about the project for in regard to winter clothes. I found this really cool long tail keyword, warmest base layer for extreme cool. It has very low own title um, figure, um, low own title, wait. Um, uh, low own title data. And um, I figure, okay, this could be a very good piece of content I would like to write, right? So I start this, uh, this process of uh, this, this, this uh, content piece in article. So this is your project. Um, there's a lot of feedback saying, asking us to, to put in uh, the function to edit the project name uh, and also to uh, kind of uh, uh, move article between project. It's coming, right? You, you said, and we listen. Um, so don't worry. Uh, we, we really collect every single feedback and suggestion you have. And we kind of trying to put them into uh, uh, up in future updates as fast as possible. So as you can see here, um, you could actually click edit and uh, you can put writer names, you know, and set the writer name. So I put as Daniel priority, let's say medium, you want a deadline to this date. You can put some input, please uh, uh, inclu include the important keyword I have chosen. Right, check your larger reason before uh, clicking down, something like that, you know, bad English. All right, let's say you save. And that's it, you can start playing with this with this tool, right? Um, so let's go into the first part of, of <clears throat> a content creator. All right, let's start with outline to use. So why did we why did we choose the flow this way, right? For every for every we 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 test our several of other content content writing tool, you know, and we and we realize that a lot of these tools actually don't break down the process of writing. And uh, for example, you know, a lot of people uh, actually talk about us about phrase. Uh, I really like phrase, but one of the things I I didn't like about phrase is they kind of embedded research process and writing process all together, right? So you, you get right away into the writing form and you do your, write, your, your research right there on the spot with so much detail, so many things that are happening uh, listed out for you. It's good for single writer, but it may not good for a team working together. And when we, when we start brainstorming about this, when we figure out, we have to break it down into different steps. Right, and when you get to content writing, it has to be all about writing. It has to be about the experience of writing. It has to be the experience of you focusing on the screen, you see the live suggestion, and you focus purely on what needs to be written instead of focusing on, okay, I have to do some more research on this. By the time you start writing, it shouldn't be any more of the research. The research part should be already been done about 70% of the, the, the way already. I mean, if you have the right keywords in, you have the right structure and the right outlines, that should probably give you about 70% of, of, um, of success rate, right? So, um, so what it is, is uh, let's start with the first step. So we build in three step uh, process, outline to use, keyword to include and content writing. Right, so I would like to use is uh, you have to look at two things. You want to um, we want to build in like a it's it's more of a UX experience, right? The user experience. You want I want to kind of create our team want to create this experience where you kind of hands on into looking through all of this um, layout and you can build it your own into your builder over here. So you have a builder part and then you have a research part. So you also can exclude domain. I'm sure you already see here, you can exclude some of these really kind of uh, not necessary domain, click up light. And it should kind of take it out of, of all this list. So over here, you will see, be able to see um, 
all the outlines that list down into the content piece. Um, is the top 20 of this keyword, warmest base layer for extreme close, right? And you'll see, you'll be able to kind of figure out, well, the first part is the percentage of the content in first page Google that are articles. So we kind of build our own algorithm to figure out, um, we try to figure out what, art, what um, websites are actually article form and what are not. So uh, if the percentage, anything higher than about 50%, you have a slightly higher chance to rank on the top 10, right? If you have about like only 10% of the top, the first page of Google are actually just article, meaning that the rest, like eight other page, are either YouTube, Walmart, Amazon, or, um, the, you know, some other e-commerce site, you will not want to try to rank on that one, right? You won't want to rank on somewhere where all of your competitors are actually just article type. So that's why we kind of build this percentage in here for you to see. Um, so let's say with this, I mean, 47 is still a pretty decent percentage. You probably could, if you build a good outline, you can build a very good keyword um, strategy. You probably have a chance, a good chance to compete. So if you click on any of this, you'll be able to see the outlines that lay out. So there's a, there's a comment and suggest us to kind of crawl into deeper level because right now we only stop at H2. Now, yes, that also coming. In fact, I want to build a little more details of the break, breakdown of, of this outline as well. This is our first version um, of content, right? Uh, of top content creator. I mean, um, we'll give you some surprise in our couple of next update where we will go very deep, we'll dig very deep into our comparative analysis, whereas you will be able to see so much more details, um, the way they structure, the way they put their um, content. We also probably will try to build in some NLP algorithm to extract key takeaway for you to just one scan through and you'll be able to kind of tell the story of what your competitor are trying to are trying to do. That way you will be able to build your outlines that could kind of outcompete your competitor. That should be in our next few updates. Um, I'm confident we could we could build something that that's very good um, you know in the near future. So as you see here, anything you click you will kind of have this like cool UX experience where it's like a highlighter will highlight over here and it will appear over here, All right? This is your body that you could build. Um, let's say you go down here and you really like, oh, I love this outlines. You want to add on, you know, I love this outline. You want to add on, you really like this uh, description. You can copy and paste here. You can, you know, maybe write some title. I'm just going to copy paste here for to be random um, <clears throat> over here. And you will have this. So this part will be building outlines, right? Um, and then you have a, over here is content structure. Essentially, we just crawl the data from the top 20 and we kind of suggest you, okay, um, with this amount of keywords, um, how far along you are compared to your, the rest of your competition. So let's say if you write 3000 words, you will be longer than 80% of your competitor. And that's a pretty good number. And you should probably try to achieve around there. By with 3000 keyword, it's, uh, we suggest you to have about 12 headings, um, about 12 paragraphs and about 12 image, right? Um, so it's our suggestion. You could actually just change it anytime you want um, at any number, you know, uh, yeah. So once you build the outlines, the cool part is you can make any of this H3, H4, or make it into a list if you would like, right? So from here, you just simply build your, build build your own outlier um, <clears throat> as you would like. You can add your own. Uh, one. Something like that. You could delete any of this if you like. You could also delete all by clicking here. So. We're kind of trying to build in a very good, I mean, our focus is to build this really good user experience when you build an outline, right? Um, and as we build that, we were trying to actually integrate more data along the way. So that's our focus on our first version of the tool. Um, so down here also, we put in Google Suggest Insight. We have people also ask um, over here, what are the questions and stuff? Of course, with this very long tail, uh, Keywords, usually you won't get as much of the Google suggestion site. You'll be able to get a lot more with a shorter keyword 
um, but definitely higher competition. We will actually try to integrate more for you. Um, question from Quora and Reddit, you know, some of you guys are asking. So we're looking into it. We have to figure out the API and all, but it shouldn't be a problem. So again, that's it. That's the first part, you know, the first step of, of Outline Builder. Um, and after moving to, uh, once you're done with the outlines, now you have to determine what keywords you want to include in this writing. So one of the major differentiation between us and many other tools uh, beside this part, you know, this part, a lot of other tools already have, right? I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Um, uh, we have competitive keywords, same things, right? We crawl, we crawl other, <clears throat> we crawl all other 20 competitors. We figure out exactly what keywords they are using, right? We kind of run this algorithm to, fig to figure out what are the keywords that they repeat most, they use most, and we kind of put it in here, right? As a list of keywords that, that you could use. You can click on any of this, you will be able to see um, 431 total uses and 60 times you would use in heading. And we list it all out here for you. You could actually literally see every single example of this keyword being used um, by clicking on any of this. Um, over here, using headings, using paragraph. So this is similar to other competitors, right? Uh, what a bit different is when we add in opportunity keywords. That's when we figure out in Google database keyword, what are some of the keywords that have very high relevancy into your main keyword, but yet your competitor doesn't have that keyword yet. I mean, with this long tail keyword, usually the list is a lot shorter, but if you try with a shorter keywords, we'll be able to list you at least 200 other keywords for you to choose. I mean, actually I come up with the problems of paradox of choice. I was like, okay, now we just have way too many keywords to choose. How do I choose which keyword is right? So we're working to kind of figure out the sweet spot where we can help you pick the right keyword for your, for your writing, instead of kind of just listing with so many keyword layout over here. Um, it's nice to see, but it's probably harder for you to determine. So that should be the next step. For any of keywords here you like, you can click on to add and it's appear over here. You can enter your own keyword. That is, you could actually change any time, the amount of time you want to see it repeated uh, into the, in your writing. But the, the coolest part is import from list. So you click on here and you can access your list. And here it is, thick worm leggings or below zero quotes, actually, content writer. And click on this, import. And here it is, I have these four really important keywords because you want to make sure this keyword, which you already use con uh, keyword cluster to add into your writer. Because once you rank on this keyword, you'll be able to rank for the rest. So that's why we kind of build this into a complete workflow for a content writer. Once that done, you have all the keywords there, determine everything cool and good, let's begin writing, right? Um, similar to many other tools, right? You have uh, over here, you have some of the, the main function. One is create share link. Um, a lot of you guys were requesting us that uh, if you send these share links to other people, they have to kind of sign in to do. The reason why we do that is because we are building um, in our upcoming features, one of the major upgrades probably coming in a few months is con we are we build in a content management kind of platform where we help you guys to really manage um, all external content writer, the process that they're going through, um, delegates and all that stuff into this. You know, this is, is one in our product roadmap. We're still brainstorming and figure out. So we figure, you know, we start from now, we still try, we want people to kind of still sign up for our tool. And so that way we, we can build that into our future roadmap. Um, that's the first. So, I mean, copy, um, similar, um, to any other tool, just copy, send the link to someone else. They will get access to this, you, they, but they won't get access to step one and step two. They just going to start writing exactly according to your outline. Um, you have notes, as you see here, this is a note that I left for myself. Um, full screen option, click on, and there it is. Just focus on writing. Really thoughtful, you know, we really thought through for you guys here. Um, um, this is a content score. A lot of people ask what the score uh, we kind of counting on. We count on five factors. The first is the keyword you have to include. You know, um, some of this gotta be green. Um, second would be the word count, which you set outside. Headings, which you already preset. Paragraph, which you also preset. And image is also preset. And we also based on some SEO analysis. So we kind of build this kind of similar to your SEO. 
um, as you see, right? So we'll probably build in a slightly more complicated, complex uh, <clears throat> um, setting later, but that should that on more on future updates, right? So over here will be outlines you want to use and keyword to include. Outlines you want to use very simple. Just click on copy and it will appear on your um, screen here. You can just start writing from there. Very simple, very easy to use. Um, keyword to include is um, every keyword that you already have um, set in your step two, right? But the cool thing is for every keyword here, if you see photo reuse, one in user heading, for example, you can click on it and the example will show up here. Full screen, um, everything for you to just access and see how it was used with other competitor. And you kind of just, just able to access that back into your writing. Um, we build in plagiarism check. So if you have a content that's higher than 20 word, we start, we could, uh, oh, 50 words, sorry. So, I mean, oops. I guess we could do some, oh no, it doesn't have content. Well, you get the idea. Essentially, you just kind of get enough content in there. Nope, this keyword is too hard. Um, enough 50 words in there, and you can click plagiarism check. I mean, I'm sure many of you already tried, um, and then we'll do the check for you. Um, one of the uh, one of the feedback I got from many people is our plagiarism check is incorrect. Actually, it's not. It's just the way our algorithm works. Is we uh, a lot of the the other tool out there. Um, right now, when we were trying to use it for our own SEO work, they kind of chop the paragraph into sentence wise, um, and they just kind of measure by sentence. So the way we did it, actually, we chopped sentence into even smaller pieces and to kind of look for measurement into the web um, so that we would have even higher accuracy and crazier kind of checking. But I figure that, you know, there's no right or wrong questions. We're going to, once we develop in the next version, we're actually going to build in like this, uh, before setting where we will do set sentence wise, um, and you will see that the, the, the results are very much similar to any of the top paradigm checker out there in the market program, um, Grammarly or um, <clears throat> Queer Text or whatever, you know, you could you could compare. Uh, but you, we're still going to build in a, a kind of more highly sort of uh, intense kind of checkup uh, for you guys uh, on this. So you're, after you're done, um, you could do export to HTML or docx. Um, you could click done. If you're a writer, you can click done and then in a project, it will actually um, change the change the status over here. So it could be check, you know, or require check for now. So this will be also revamped soon in future where you'll be able to kind of see a better kind of outline for your project management. You'll be able to uh, kind of manage your articles, your projects, your your writers, um, delegate and see the process, where they goes and all that stuff. That's the future is. So we're focusing a lot on um, the user experience and the team structure and the workflows, overall workflow, and not simply just like solving one problem. So that's that's content creator for, um, for us. Um, so expect future updates. Um, the few things on this one, we will definitely build in maybe some grammar add-on, Google Docs uh, and WordPress add-ons uh, for you to even right away export to WordPress or Google Doc. Um, you just, if you'd like to write in Google Docs, you could just use our kind of extensions. Um, uh, we are working very hard to find ways to integrate with GTP3. That's like final, final frontier for us. Um, we kind of already done the research parts and now getting to the last end of the stretch where we will help you to kind of write statement and create more ideas and all that stuff. Um, we are we are working hard, trust me. You know, once we have that, we'll be able to kind of get you guys on board to do that as well.